Ano ang arithmetic mean between the numbers 5 and 15? Alamin ang sagot sa video na to. Good day learners! Today we're going to talk about arithmetic means. Arithmetic means are terms between any two non-consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence. So how are we going to solve for the arithmetic mean? Let's have our first example. So find the arithmetic mean between 5 and 15. So kung i-analyze natin yung problem, we have only three terms. Yung 5, yung arithmetic mean, at yung last term. So para mas ma-visualize natin, isusulat natin yung uh, arithmetic sequence natin. So we have 5, the missing term, and 15. Again, pag sinabi natin arithmetic means, those are the numbers or the terms that we're going to insert between two non-consecutive terms. So, si 5 and 15, they are not consecutive. Okay? So, we're going to insert one arithmetic mean. So, madali lang kung isang arithmetic mean lang yung missing. Okay. So, para masolve yung arithmetic mean natin, Given dalawang non-consecutive terms, all we need to do is to add the first term and the last term. So, yung last term natin is, since tatlo sila, so 5 is our a sub 1, the missing term is a sub 2, and the last term is a sub 3. Okay, susulat natin, pwede tayo confuse. a sub 1, a sub 2, and a sub 3. So, a sub 1 plus a sub 3, then whatever their sum, we're going to get their uh, average. So, divide natin by 2. So, we have 5 as our a sub 1 plus 15 as our a sub 2, then divide it by 2. Simplify further, you will have 20 divided by 2 or in other words, we have 10. Therefore, yung missing arithmetic mean natin dito, or yung missing term natin sa uh, given arithmetic sequence is 10. So, to check kung tama ba yung 10, let's write here yung missing na term. So, as you can see, uh, we can only say na arithmetic sequence siya if and only if may common difference. So, ano yung common difference between 5 and 10 and 10 and 15? So, we will have 5. Ibig sabihin, we will have 5 plus 5, you will get 10. And 10 plus 5, you will get 15. Problems na more than 1 ay yung missing na arithmetic mean. It could be 2 arithmetic means, 3 or more. So let's have problem number 2. We have here, insert 2 arithmetic means between negative 5 and 7. So hindi na gaya na process na ginawa natin sa number 1. Yung gagawin natin sa number 2. So again, to visualize our arithmetic sequence, isulat muna natin siya tapos dalagyan natin yung mga missing na mga terms. So we have negative 5, tama. So since we are going to insert two arithmetic means, so may dalawang missing. One and another one. Okay? Then, the last term is yung 7. So again, we have a sub 1, negative 5. A sub 2, missing. A sub 2, 3, missing then Then, a sub 4 or the last term is 7. Okay. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to use the formula of uh, finding the n term of an arithmetic sequence. If you, if you can remember, our formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Okay. So, sulat natin siya. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus uh, the quantity n minus 1 times d. Okay. So, a sub n, ano yung ilalagay natin sa a sub n? Again, we have a sub n is our last term or our n term. a sub 1 is our first term. n is the number of terms. And d is our common difference. Okay. So, a sub n, yung last term natin is 7. So again, kung bibilangin natin 1, 2, 3, 4, si 7 ay yung pang 4 term natin. So we're going to have a sub 4. Okay. So, so 
Diyan ko muna, pagbaguhin ko A sub 4 plus N minus 1 times D. A sub 4 now is 7. A sub 1 is negative 5. Plus, the quantity of N minus 1. So, ano pa yung N natin? The number of terms. So, makikita natin sa sequence natin, we have 4 terms. Kaya, ang value ng N natin is 4. Then, minus 1. Constant yung minus 1 natin dito. Then, D. So, kung mapapansin natin, hindi natin alam yung uh, value ni D or yung common difference. So, gagamitin natin yung formula para makuha natin yung common difference. So, we have 7 is equal to negative 5 plus 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Then, 3, whatever the result, we're going to multiply to D. So, 3 times D would be 3D. Okay? So, since we're solving for the value of D, all we need to do is to transpose negative 5 to the left side of the equation. Okay. Ilipat natin si negative 5. So, it will become 7. Yung negative 5 magiging positive 5. Plus 5 is equal to 3D. Combine these two, we will have 12 is equal to 3D. Now, since more than 1 yung numerical coefficient ng D natin, so kailangan pa natin i-divide both sides ng anong number? Para makansin natin yung 3. Of course, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 3. Okay. So divide ng 3 sa right side at the same time sa left side ng equation natin. So, this will be 1. We'll cancel out natin. We'll have D. Then 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So, madaling salita, yung D or common difference natin is equal to 4. So, pwede rin siyang balita rin. You can write it as D is equal to 4. So, same pa rin siya. So, since 4 yung D natin, pwede na natin ma-determine kung ano yung dalawang missing arithmetic means. Okay, so all we need to do is to add 4 sa first term and so on. So, we have negative 5 plus 4 that is equal to negative 1. Negative 1 plus 4, that is equal to positive 3. And positive 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So since na natin yung last term, by adding the common difference, therefore, yung sagot natin ay tama. So, the complete set of arithmetic sequence for problem number 2 is negative 5, negative 1, 3, and 7. So, let's proceed to our last problem. We have here, insert 4 arithmetic means between 4 and 34. So, yung gagamitin natin na uh, procedure for number 3 is just the same with the uh, procedure that we have uh, done with number 2. So, again, para ma-visualize natin, isulat muna natin yung expected na arithmetic sequence natin. So, we have 4 uh, as our uh, first term. Then, since apat yung missing na arithmetic means, or uh, we have four terms na missing, so maglalagay din tayo dito ng apat na uh, blank. Then, the last term is 34. So all in all, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have six terms. Apat yung missing na term. So the next step, we're going to use the formula. So we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times D. Okay, yung A sub N natin, that is A sub 6. Kasi nga, we have 6 terms. A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times D. Again, yung goal natin dito is makuha ang value ni D or the common difference. So, A sub 6 is equal to 34. Equals A sub 1, yung first term natin, 4. Plus N. And the number of terms, we have 6 terms. So, kaya 6 yung ilalagay natin dito. Minus 1 times D. Okay, copy lang yung D. Simplify natin. We have 34 is equal to 4 plus 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. Then 5 times D is equal to 5D. Next, transpose natin si 4 using uh, subtraction property of equality. So, you will have 34. So, yung positive 4 ngayon magiging negative 4. It's equal to 5D. 
D. Simplify, you will have uh, 34 minus 4, 30 is equal to 5. Again, para mapansan natin yung 5, kung matanggal yung numerical coefficient ni D, na 5, we, or we are going to divide both sides by 5. So, we have divided by 5 sa right, at the same time then sa left. This will be cancelled out. Therefore, ang value ng D natin is, 30 divided by 5 is 6. Okay. So, ang common difference pala ng given sequence natin is 6. So, yung 6, gagamitin natin para i-add sa first term para makuha natin ang mga succeeding terms. Okay. So, 4 plus 6, you will have 10. 10 plus 6, you will have 16. 16 plus 6, you will have 22. 22 plus 6, you will have 28. And of course, 28 plus 6, you will have 34. So, the complete Arithmetic sequence, we have 4, 10, 16, 22, 28, and 34. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung mat ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Ninyo.